our hospitals have more younger people in them today. Um, it's because of the fact that our vaccination rate, and we'll get to this in a minute, but our vaccination rate among younger people is just a lot lower than it is with higher people. And we're dealing with the Delta variant today. And the Delta variant is seeking out anyone who is not, is not vaccinated. Um, so let me, let me give you some of the numbers. Um, and of course, last week, we also heard directly from our children's hospitals about how uh, these hospitals were filling up with uh, young people with COVID, but also people, young people who had other uh, uh, problems, uh, respiratory problems uh, that normally would be occurring in, in the winter. So let's start with hospitalizations. Today's, um, let me go, go to hospitalizations. Um, Today's numbers uh, show we have 459 newly reported hospitalizations of people of all ages in the last uh, 24 hours. Uh, that's our highest number since January. Uh, that was January 12th and 21, uh, we had 486 report hospitalizations. So that's, that's everybody. But even more startling is that more and more younger Ohioans are being admitted to our hospitals for COVID. It certainly is a significant change. Uh, the, you'll see the slide on, on the uh, screen now, hospitalizations age 49 and younger. Uh, these are in actually in, in raw numbers. So you can go back to July 4th, uh, that, that number uh, was uh, 47. Uh, the last number, as you can see here, September 5th is 398. And you can just see how it's been going up. Uh, in January 2021, 16% of hospitalizations were among those under 50. Uh, going to July 2021, that percentage had doubled to 32% of hospitalizations coming from those under 50. Uh, despite the fact that our total hospitalizations now are lower, our total are lower than at the peak of last year's winter surge, the numbers of younger admissions have dramatically dramatically climb. For example, during the week of September 5th, uh, we had 398 hospital admissions for those under 50. And that was our highest week during the pandemic, our highest week for that age group. The bottom line is that we're seeing our, our higher numbers, our highest numbers ever of hospitalizations among those under the age of 50. Uh, throughout this pandemic, even at the worst of times, uh, we were not seeing this many younger people under 50 going into our hospitals. Uh, the clear difference between these younger Ohioans and the older Ohioans is the rate of vaccination. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Now let's look at those 39 years of age uh, and older. Let's break, break that group out. And again, you can see how that number uh, since the number on your left, which is 32, that was July 4th. And you can see it goes September 5th. Uh, that, that week is 200, 230. Uh, now look at the, let's look at these raw numbers. In the first week of July, 32 people, there were 39 and younger were admitted to the hospital. Now the most recent completed reporting week, which is September 5th through September 11th, shows 230 Ohioans, 39 years of age and younger were admitted to the hospital that particular week. This is the highest number of admissions for COVID in this age group during the entire pandemic, even higher than during the winter surge levels when no one, let me point that out, when no one was, was vaccinated. About 97% uh, of patients of all ages in our hospitals uh, who are there for COVID are unvaccinated. So it's no surprise that there are increasing hospitalizations among those age groups that have a lower rate of vaccination. It's that simple. Those that are 39 years of age and younger are 35% vaccinated. Uh, while more vulnerable Ohioans, uh, those 40 and older are 73% vaccinated. And just looking at, at the different, uh, at the chart itself, you can really see uh, Eric, if you could put that back up, uh, you can really see a huge, huge difference 
uh, in vaccinations. And we've been watching this, there's nothing new, but it just shows a big, uh, I'm sorry, Eric, I want the other one back up. I want the one of the age groups. Uh, you know, if you, if you look, for example, of everybody over um, 65, every age group is, is above 80%. Um, 65 to 69 is 83, and that goes to 87 for those 70 to 74, 83% for those 75 to 79, over 80, it's 80%. And you can see then, if you get a younger group, it drops down. But when you drop down to those 20 to 29, you know, we're less than half, we're 47%. 30 to 39 is 54%. So a, a huge, huge difference, which, uh, you know, it accounts for what we're seeing out there. And what in what is going going on? 